how to install wordpress 6.0 in localhost you can install your wordpress 6.0 using jam server okay so it, it is too much easy and simple to install your wordpress 6.0 in your localhost so without any delay let's begin so first of all you have to go in this website and that is wordpress.org slash download I will give the link in the video description you can check that one and you have to click in the download WordPress 6.0 now you can see here you will uh, get the file so after that just you have to go in the uh, C drive and just you have to click in the jump and uh, just you have to go in the SC docs and you have to create a new folder so I am just giving it okay so uh, WordPress okay and I'm just going here okay so just wait for wait for a moment so I am just going here in the WordPress and I am just pasting that file here so that is WordPress 6.0 and I am extracting all the file here okay so now we can see it is extracting all the file from the Z file so it is almost 22 uh, MB file okay so it is not a largest file okay so it is extracting all the necessary file from the zip folder okay but before that one just you have to go in the PHP my admin and you have to create a new database just click in the new and I am just giving the uh, file name is WordPress uh, sorry the database name is WordPress so that is WordPress okay so I am just giving the name that is WordPress and just you have to click in the create and the database is created so now you can see the wordpress database is created inside my PHP my admin so now after that just you have to go in your browser and just you have to type localhost slash and I'm just giving the folder name so first of all I'm going here in the wordpress and that is wordpress 6.0 okay so I'm selecting all the files by pressing ctrl plus a and, and now you have to cut this one by pressing ctrl plus x and I am coming in the WordPress folder and just pasting the file by pressing Ctrl plus B. So now we can see all the file is came inside the main folder. After that, I am going to here and I am just typing the localhost uh, slash part. In this time, I am using the port 8080. Uh, but uh, if you are using the jam first time, you don't have to use this the port. Okay, so <clears throat> you can use the by default port also. Uh, okay so after that just you have to type okay so I am just uh, choosing the folder name here WordPress okay localhost slash WordPress okay so uh, it is not necessary to put uh, the port uh, if you have any uh, issues related with the port you can use the 8080 port otherwise it's okay then after that just you have to press enter okay guys so now we can see it is telling me that not found and the request url was not found it is telling me like that so for this one maybe i think the folder name was mistake so that's why it is showing this type of the error okay so i am just going to in the folder so now we can see here this is the mistake i forgot to type the p here so that's why i am renaming this one and i am just giving the proper name for the wordpress okay so now it is correct okay after that i am going here again i am reloading this one okay so now we can see it is loading all the files and it is taking a little bit time okay guys so now we can see it is asking me to choose language so i am choosing the english otherwise you can choose your favorite language also then just click in the continue so now we can see it is uh, uh, asking me to uh, allow few things the first thing is the database name and the database username database password and the database host okay and I am just clicking the let's go so now we can see it is asking me few things so the first name is the username okay so username will be always root in the local host and password should be blank okay and the database host is the host and the database name is wordpress okay and you can choose the table prefix uh, it's uh, 
you can make it uh, your uh, the database prefix name also but, uh, but it's okay for me so I'm uh, leaving it by default okay and just you have to click in the submit and just click in the run run the installation so now we can see it is asking me to put the site title so I am just typing the demo okay oh, so I am just giving the uh, username is admin and I am just giving the name is admin one two three four five six seven eight okay one two three four five six and I am just putting and the other rate here and the rate and dollar okay and hatch okay add a dollar and one two three four five six and you can put your email also okay so i am just using info add it drishadipsali.com okay then after that uh, you can uh, use uh, the tick option from here uh, when uh, the, the development uh, process is going on okay uh, or uh, you can leave it by default okay and I am just clicking the install WordPress okay so now we can see here my WordPress is installing and it will take a little bit time it depends on your internet speed and your web server speed okay guys so now we can see here it is telling me that the success wordpress has been installed successfully and it is telling me that thank you and the username is, is showing me that admin and thus you have to click in the login and now you have to put your username here that was admin and i am putting admin add the read one two three four five six and just click in the login okay so i think it was here is not working right now so i'm just clicking here admin at the rate one two three four five six okay i think i uh, mistakenly put few things here okay guys so i think i mistakenly forgot the password so i'm putting again so that was admin at the rate in dollar and one two three four five six and i'm just clicking the login uh, so i think it should work properly boom now so now you can see here my uh, dashboard is opening and it is telling me that welcome to wordpress so in this way you can easily install your wordpress in your local host uh, okay so this is one of the easiest method to install your wordpress okay so hoping that you get few ideas i'll come back with another new video until that goodbye see you again